Welcome to the Systematic Magic Podcast with Vance Morris. So why do they call them service departments? I don't get it. Hey, this is Vance, the Disney guy Morris, and I just got off the phone with what I thought was a service department. You see, I bought a new car not too long ago, and the accessories for the car just came in. I got a message from the uh, parts department, and so I called them back, and they're like, okay, well, yep, your parts are all here. You need to talk to the service department to get scheduled. I said, great, can you transfer me? So they transferred me, and the phone just rang and rang and rang, and then disconnected. No voicemail, no person. So I call back. And I get the parts department again. I said, hey, look, service department hung up on me. Uh, just rang and rang. Nobody was there. Can you transfer me? Sure. Transfers me again. Same thing happens. Ring, 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 ring. Disconnect. So I call them back a third time. And I'm like, I've been to your dealership before. Could you go literally next door? Because the counter for the parts department is here and the service department is right here. Could you go next door and see if you get somebody to answer the phone? Well, sir, we're in the same building, but I'm nowhere near them. I can't do that. And I'm like, yeah, but they're not answering the phone. Well, they might be in the service alley and uh, maybe can't answer the phone. Yeah, but they don't have voicemail. So what am I supposed to do? Keep calling back and calling back and calling back until you finally answer the phone? That doesn't seem right. Can you please go and find somebody in service? <clears throat> Sorry, no, I can't do that. So I kind of called them useless, which in effect they are. Why do they call them service departments? Why do they call them customer service? Because they are not any of the above. They are not service oriented. They are not customer oriented. So I had to call my sales guy, who of course was apologetic and said, oh, that never happens here, but we'll make sure it gets straight. And oh, by the way, I hope this doesn't impact your rating on me as a service person. Evidently his bonus is predicated on my ratings for him. Unfortunately, there's no way to separate the rating for the dealership and this guy. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but if you're going to have a service department, by all means, provide service. It ain't that difficult. Until next time, this is Vance the Disney Guy Morris with another tip to help you eradicate that insidious decline of customer service. Thanks so much. Thanks for listening to the Systematic Magic Podcast. If you like what you heard, go to our website, DeliverServiceNow.com, so you do not miss a single strategy. Join Vance's crusade to eliminate poor client or patient experiences around the world. Go to DeliverServiceNow.com right now.